So I'm going to call this one um, Medieval, Medieval Ladies Journal because you'll see I've used papers from, um, it must be my favourite really, a digital kit designer on Etsy and it's um, Medieval Mirage. I love her papers, they're just beautiful and you'll see as I go through they speak for themselves really. So this one is exactly the same format as the other one, 140 pages, back to front, Tim Holtz closer, the seam binding, metal plate, hand painted. This one I've painted a deep, a sort of burgundy to go with the colour of the cover that I've used. And if I open her up, you'll see, so there's a tuck spot here. And there's two tags. How beautiful are they? They're stitched onto coffee dyed paper. I've used a burgundy ink, or a red, not ink, sorry. I've used a deep red thread because I thought it went well. Um, and it says the story begins. And on purpose I've not put tags, holes in these because I just think the papers are beautiful and they don't need anything at all. And each first page has the ribbon lace trim and there's a pocket and I've done a journaling card and each one has got a tab. Now I've not put anything on the tabs, punched them because I wanted it to be more like a secret place. I wanted this to be a ladies journal so and lots of secret pockets. Excuse me. Um, each of the back and front has pockets of the signatures and I reinforced them with some of this washi as you can see and again I've left them plain really um, there's a few tuck spots but not much lots of writing space tuck spot here with the paper and I've used an envelope matching sorry about the phone Matching um, tag journal card for inside, and I've not done anything to them because I don't think they need it. How lovely has that turned out? So that's the printed vellum, <coughs> one of the papers. Nice quality paper for writing, coffee dyed flower, and uh, Edith Holden page in this book. So it's Edith Holden pages in this book. Another flower stamped. Again, the envelopes. These are all envelopes from the kit. And they've been velcroed and this one's just got a postcard stitched onto coffee dyed paper. There was a lot more that I could have done with embellishing in this kit but I just didn't want to make the book too thick so it's a good excuse to use the papers again. Another lovely flower just holding. So as you can see it's, it's alternate really. It's coffee dyed and then papers to write. Another tuck spot from the kit and again I did that stitch on purpose believe it or not I know I'm not a seamstress but I just wanted to make it stand out a little bit I wanted it a bit tacky looking <clears throat> not tacky what's the word I'm looking for oh. I wanted it a bit unfinished looking yeah and that's the back of that lovely vellum piece again another tuck spot another two tags from the kit and in the back page I've done another pocket but again because it's more of a secret pocket all I've done is popped a journaling card from the kit in each one so that you wouldn't know there was anything there again the trim and then the first pocket how lovely is that I just I just adore this paper line. Can't wait to use it again. Flowers. It's the vellum. Edith Holden coffee. Duck. Two from the kit. Flower stamped. 
And then from the kit, another postcard style, lady sewing, medieval. And then in the front of this one, I've put a hidden double layer so that in here, there's a teeny weeny one of these to write on and another lady. So cute. Flip out. And then on this one, again, tags. You just hold in, the vellum, and then in the back pocket, I've done that postcard again, and she's on an index card. Then this lady here, and she's the centre signature, so she does have a key on her tag. I thought that would be nice to do in the centre signature. It just sits out nicely. I thought that was a lovely little key. Then the vellum, the flowers, the castle. Another tuck. Journaling card. And there is another pocket here. Another tag. Stamping. And then in this one, there's some more places to write and some paper that I had from the kit I just cut down. Oh, that made a nice place in there. And here I thought was fun, a nice place to write something hidden. And in the back of it, there's another tiny lay journaling card. And if you look, there's some red peeking out at the bottom, because I did actually have red ribbon sewn to make a tie, but it was just too bulky for the look that I was wanting, because I don't want anything bulky in this one. I want this to be all about the journaling and the pictures, your own pictures, not about the, the embellishments. So I changed it. So I changed it and I just put a little bit of the ribbon on there to hold that closed. And I thought that was much better. Some stamping. Again, another pocket there, and tuck here. Another two. There is so much variety in these kits, I can't tell you. Okay, this is just lovely. And then I put the same page at the back. That's it in vellum. Do you see what I mean about variety? Because that, that actually isn't the same page. Hmm. And then the back of this one, there's just a pretty journaling card again onto an index card. And I think I put another one in here too. No, I'm in the wrong one, that's why that goes in here. And then in this signature, again stitched at the back, tag, another tuck, the little rose, and then on this side, to mirror the castle, I've put another, I don't know if you can see, just some writing paper here, and here there's a pocket and I've mirrored the, oops, the castle image there and put it in this pocket. And a little tag. Nice stamping again, made it hold in. Some more stamping. Another pretty envelope with another couple of pages not pages, journal and cards to match. Again, a different tuck. This is a double tuck. So I've got a journal and card here and one in the front. And 
And then again in here is another, and it's on an index card hidden in the back. And then hidden in the front, another tagged. And it's a smaller image of the lady. Very clever. This kit. And this one. And then a side tuck, a rose. And then this one is an envelope. And I've put in here again another piece of paper to journal with. Another little booklet style made from the two cards of the one the one girl. And I've done another one and there's a place to tuck at the back of here. But instead of putting the whole book in, what I thought was quite nice to do was just put half the book in and have half out so it's layered. But that was pretty. Some more flowers again. And again, another side tuck. Lovely place to journal. It's the last page. Another journaling card and an index card. And then on the last page, there is the double pocket again. And I've used another beautiful piece of paper from the kit. I mean, honestly, it's lovely. In the back, another tag. I don't quite, I don't know any other kits where you get such um, diversity in the one kit, really. Such value for money. So there's a little key that you can see. The other one had the bird. And it closes like that. So... I hope you like them. They should be in my Etsy shop later on tonight or tomorrow. If you have any questions, any comments, I appreciate it. And thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.